As yearly franchises, sports games can often feel like little more than a roster update when you first boot them up. After all, developers only have a few short months to implement new features, meaning they must be clinical with what makes it into each new version. Fortunately, the team at Electronic Arts has focused its resources this year on delivering important changes to EAFC 25, giving players several new ways to play and a solid collection of quality of life updates. Here's everything new in EAFC 25. One of the biggest features in FC 25 is Rush Mode. This new gameplay style features fast-paced, small-sided soccer matches. Rush lets you partner with three friends in 5v5 games where creativity and teamwork thrive. It's a fun and casual alternative to FC 25's more competitive gameplay modes like Rivals, giving players a fun way to squad up with friends across nearly every mode. There are also a few new rules, including a hockey-like take on penalties complete with a dribble up and a new blue card that puts your players in the penalty box for big fouls. Oh, The other big gameplay updates are player roles and FC IQ. Using real-world data, EA has added new player roles, further differentiating players on the pitch. The team is billing this as the sister feature to play styles, enhancing how players think, behave, and move off the ball. With FC IQ, players can create dynamic new tactics and open up strategies for dominating the competition. If you want to play like Liverpool and turn your fullback into a playmaking false back, or use your striker like Man City, making them into a gigantic poaching goal scorer, you can do that. The team even expanded playstyles to goalkeepers, making the best netminders feel even more powerful in the box. EA has also made a big change to its seasonal content. In the past, Ultimate Team and clubs had separate season passes, and career mode players didn't have anything cosmetic to work toward. That all changes in FC25, as the season pass can now be completed across all three modes. FC25 has taken the right lesson from MLB The Show, giving players all the power when it comes to where they level up each season, ensuring that you won't stay behind if you decide to jump into career mode. Even better, you'll earn rewards for all three as you move up the pass, although Ultimate Team players will still get the bulk of rewards from the pass. Speaking of Ultimate Team, FC25 has changed the game with a few quality of life updates. The team has gotten rid of contracts, freeing players from one of the more tedious sides of club management, and given players duplicate storage where they can hold up to 100 player cards to use in SBCs. Electronic Arts has also opened up Evolutions, making one of the most popular additions from FC24 even easier to take advantage of. Outside of adding Rush to Ultimate Team, most core modes are the same. However, Electronic Arts has drastically reduced the number of games needed for weekly rewards, especially in squad battles where you only need to play 12 games instead of the 40 that you needed in FC24. Meanwhile, EA is billing FC25 as the biggest update in years for career mode players. The goal here is to give players as much control as possible. In Manager Career, you can turn off board objectives, making it impossible to get fired, or you can turn them to harsh and feel the heat that real-world coaches do. For the first time, you'll be able to play with your Youth Academy players in Rush Mode, giving you an idea of what they might turn into when you promote them to your senior team. FC25 has also added women's soccer, bringing the two sides of the game on par in career mode. As the real world season progresses, EA will make use of its new live start point feature, letting players jump into specific moments during the season to try and win a title or two. Over in player career, you can now take over the career of famous icons. At launch, up to seven icons will be available depending on which edition you buy. Ultimate Team owners get access to players like David Beckham and Ronaldo, while Standard Edition players get Thierry Henry and Andrea Pirlo. And there it is. One already. More icons are coming throughout the year, so expect to see fan favourites like Mia Hamm, Johan Cruyff and Ronaldinho sooner or later. If you decide to make your player, you'll get to pick one of three new origin stories, giving your player career a little narrative and gameplay flair. Clubs players shouldn't expect anything major for their preferred mode. 
Instead, FC25 is taking advantage of things like rush and player roles to improve clubs without any wholesale changes. You'll notice additions like facilities, which give your squad small boosts, while opening up playstyles for your clubmates. EA has also added a few small tweaks that players have been asking for, including quick chat and a maximum height. No more 6 foot 7 or taller monsters at Striker. Those are the major highlights when it comes to new features for FC25, and you'll notice even more changes once you hit the pitch. So check back in with our expanding wiki for more football guides, tips and tricks. And for all other things FC25, keep it here on IGN.